Kapina uses a Finnish-inspired curriculum. We've taken the National Core Curriculum for Early Childhood Education and Care of Finland and we have enhanced it to make it better suited for the global community. Around the world, children are entering school at a much younger age than they would in Finland. So we've had to adapt the curriculum to give the children these academic skills that they would need for school, as well as readiness skills, learning readiness skills that children would need to enter school. So these type of reading readiness skills, pre-literacy skills, numeracy skills, these are all covered in the curriculum, but in a play-based way. Kapina has enhanced the Finnish curriculum by adding 21st century skills. So what are 21st century skills? 21st century skills are the four C's. Collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. The teachers are trying to promote these skills through the activities while learning through play. The difference between guided learning and play-based learning is guided learning, as it implies, the teacher is trained in being able to guide the children towards specific learning outcomes or developmental skills that the children are doing. Whereas play-based learning could be anything. It could be structured or unstructured. Unstructured, the child could self-initiate play in any situation. And structured, meaning that the teacher has set up specific activities where the child has an intended purpose of doing that activity. Teachers at Kapina use the gradual release of responsibility. So during focused instruction time, when the teacher is working one-on-one -on -one or in small groups with children, they're working on a very specific age-appropriate developmental skill. The teacher is following the I do, we do, you do method, where the teacher is explicitly showing the child how to do something. Then she guides the child and how to do it together, and then she releases the child to doing it on their own. This is like learning through trial and error. Every moment is a teachable moment. Kapina covers six core curricular domains. Literacy, communication and language, relationship and character development, cultural awareness and diversity, physical development and wellness awareness, numeracy, and cognitive development through play and exploration. The curriculum domains come together on a developmental continuum of learning outcomes. Our program is from birth to six years old. The learning outcomes are brought to life through age-appropriate specific developmental skills that the teacher is working on through focused instruction. Focused instruction is when the teacher works with a child one-on-one -on -one or in small groups on a very specific learning outcome or developmental skill. She's planned this activity to better suit the child's unique needs or interests and abilities. The teacher is measuring the children on a four-point scale in the specific developmental skill that she's working with them during focused instruction or during guided play. During this time, the teacher is explicitly looking at these developmental skills. So we want to celebrate children's work, but we want to do it in a way that is um, organized and tasteful and really celebrates their work. So we take the time to put it behind a frame um, piece, of, piece of glass and we want it to be current. Okay, this is for the children. So here you can see that uh, the children were working on their receptive language skills. They were responding and naming the parts of the body as they created the sheep together with the teacher. Moving down here, they were working on a social and emotional skill, the ability to take turns. So this was, again, a collaborative artwork where they were taking turns and working together to assemble the animal. This is recognition of letters in the alphabet. So this was probably a focused instruction where the teacher was working one-on-one -on -one and seeing if the child was able to recognize the letter. Again, the letter connects with the theme. So everything is all in context, getting those synapses of the brain firing and building that context for the children. This last one here, this was a sensory piece where the children were using their senses to um, show and discriminate preference for different tactile preferences. So we have over here the soft, we had the wet paint, we had something rough, and they assembled the, the sheep. <laughs>